Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. A month ago, I made a video sharing evidence that a new DLC for Age of Empires 2 was almost definitely on the way. I zeroed in on Africa as the most probable location, partly because the DLC was using the codename Porto, and I also felt that was an area with some room to explore. It seems now though, based on some new evidence, the DLC is definitely not in Africa. Oops, and instead is gonna be in India. If you're not regularly checking the forums, the big story today is some small puzzle piece screenshots are being quietly added to the end of old official Steam posts. For example, on the Steam Winter Sale announcement from December 22nd, at the bottom they've added this picture. There's only been a handful released at this point, but if we take the puzzle pieces and assemble them, here's one possible reconstruction of how they might fit together, assuming it's all a single screenshot from perhaps a campaign. I won't completely overanalyze every pixel, and I'm sure we'll get a ton of new information in the next little bit, but there are some pretty obvious and big reveals that jump out. First of all, this is the Indian architecture set, so based on that alone, it seems that region is going to be the focus. We'll start with the red civilization here, which we notice have the recognizable elephant archer unique unit, and are also going to be given battle elephants. This is something that people have been requesting for historical accuracy, and we can see they even have a brand new type of elephant, which doesn't have a rider, and is obviously a melee unit attacking this tower. Whoever made the screenshot strategically revealed only part of the unit to probably hide something about its function. There also appears to be a new chakram throwing infantry unit for red, and appears to be the same unit for cyan as well. Now these could be campaign only or scenario editor units and not unique units, which is hard to tell at this point, especially when elsewhere we see two more candidates for unique units, one cavalry and one a variation on a spearman. There's easily enough variation here for three civilizations, especially given we haven't even seen the imperial camel here yet. There's one last very interesting reveal as well, which is this elephant archer. At first, it may not look like a big deal, but this is a much less armored version than the regular elephant archer that we've seen before. Typically, unique units don't change in appearance when they're upgraded to elite, whereas units at the stable, barracks, etc. change in appearance with each upgrade. Battle elephants to elite battle elephants are much more armored, for example, whereas elephant archers previously didn't change with their elite upgrade. The fact we're now seeing a less armored version has led to some speculation, which I completely agree with, that this implies the elephant archer is now going to be a regional unit for all of the Indian civilizations at the archery range, and no longer a castle unique unit. We've seen this type of thing before with the Eagle Warrior being shared by the American Civs, meaning the new Indian civilizations may now have both battle elephants and elephant archers at their stable and archery range, on top of, of course, unique units at the castle. Remember, currently Indians don't have access to knights, and there are no knights in the picture released so far, so that may continue to be a theme for balanced purposes. I've seen a suggestion as well that this is Bengal architecture, and could be their castle and wonder, which seems plausible to me, but given how wrong my last speculation video turned out to be, I'll be careful about jumping to conclusions here. Personally, I think it's a great choice to break up India into a few different civs, and I assume the current Indian civilization will be overhauled and renamed to something more specific. Either way, we get more elephants, a regional theme for the DLC, and it also corrects a pretty big historical criticism of the expansions where Indians were missing battle elephants and had arguably too many cultures squeezed together under one umbrella, certainly when compared to Europe, where things are much more fleshed out. So that's all the DLC news that we know so far, and of course there was also a big patch for Age of Empires 4 today as well, so lots of Age of Empires stuff going on at the moment. That'll do it for this one though, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.